Traveling has many benefits and good effects on a person. A Shafi'i, may Allah have mercy on him, said, Travel away from your homeland, pursuing lofty goals. Travel because traveling has five benefits. Relief from grief, gaining a livelihood, knowledge, good manners, and a noble company. And the traveler should be keen on a few things before he travels. They are having a good intention, so he travels for obedience to Allah or a permissible matter, performing istikhara prayer and consulting others for advice, repenting to Allah, repaying debts and requesting forgiveness from those who he has wronged, not forgetting to spend on his family, choosing righteous company for travel, saying goodbye to his family, neighbors and friends, it is recommended to travel on Thursdays if it is easy for him and to leave early because the Prophet ﷺ liked to go out on Thursdays. Also, he made dua for his ummah to be blessed during early morning time and to begin with a supplication of travel when he boards his means of travel, whether it's a car, a plane or other means. It was narrated that Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them both, said that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, whenever he mounted his camel for setting out on a journey, he would say, Allahu Akbar, Allah is greatest, three times. Then he would supplicate, Far removed from imperfection is the one who has made this subservient to us, for we have no power to subjugate it, and certainly to our Lord shall we return. O oh Allah, we ask you during this journey of ours for righteousness, piety, and such deeds that are pleasing to you. O oh Allah, make easy for us this journey of ours and make the distance short for us. O oh Allah, you are our companion during the journey and the guardian of our family and property in our absence. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you and from the hardships of traveling, unpleasant sights and evil turns in our property and family. It is also recommended for him to travel at the end of the night because the Prophet wasallam said Keep to travelling by night for the earth is traversed more easily by night. Remembrance of Allah should be his friend and comfort and supplication should be his companion as it is more likely to be answered. And when he approaches a village or town he supplicates saying O oh Allah, I ask you for its good and the good of its people and the good of what is in it. And I seek refuge in you from its evil, the evil of its people, and the evil of what is in it. And if he stays somewhere, he should say, I seek refuge in Allah's complete words from the evil of what he has created. Verily nothing will harm him until he leaves that place. And the traveler should be keen on the adhan, call to prayer, and the iqama, the call just before the prayer and performing the concessions of travel such as shortening the four rak'ats of prayer to two rak'ats as well as the combining of prayers while on the journey if he is staying in a place then it is better to shorten the prayer and perform it on time and it is permissible for him to combine prayers it is recommended for him not to lengthen his trip and to quickly return to his family when his need is fulfilled